started like any other peaceful morning in the countryside. The sun was rising over our orchard, painting the fields in shades of gold, and the trees were so heavy with fruit they almost bowed to the earth. For months, we had waited for this moment, the harvest season that promised abundance and reward for a year's worth of sweat and hard work. Everyone in the village believed this would be the golden year, the one we talk about for generations. But then came the invaders' wild boars. They weren't just passing through. They came in waves, tearing through our fields like a storm of destruction. Each night, we'd wake to the sound of rustling leaves, broken branches, and crushed crops. In a single night, a pack of wild boars could undo weeks of effort. They devoured the fruit, trampled the young plants, and left behind chaos that made every farmer's heart sink. Watching them ruin everything we worked for wasn't an option anymore. So we decided to fight back. With years of hunting experience on our side, we began tracking their movements, studying their trails, and planning a coordinated hunt. When dawn came, our team spread out across the orchard, forming a tight ambush circle. The silence was tense, broken only by the soft panting of our hounds and the rustle of leaves in the wind. Then it happened a sudden crash of hooves, the sound of pounding earth. The wild boars had arrived, charging straight into our trap. I could feel my heart pounding as adrenaline kicked in. My teammates and I raised our rifles and opened fire in perfect sync. Each shot echoed through the valley, sharp and precise. One after another, the massive animals dropped, but there was no time to celebrate. More were coming. The next wave burst through the brush, bigger and faster than before. These creatures were powerful muscular, agile, and unrelenting. They darted between trees, using their speed to dodge bullets, but even their quick reflexes couldn't outrun the deadly accuracy of our shots. The orchard stretched for dozens of acres so we split into smaller units to cover more ground. Each team set up checkpoints, waiting for any sign of movement. The hunting dogs worked tirelessly, noses to the ground, barking sharply as they picked up fresh scents. Their determination was unmatched. Whenever a boar tried to hide, the dogs would flush it out, forcing it into the open for a clean, swift shot. The rhythm of the hunt became almost cinematic, the clash of nature and instinct, man versus beast.
The boars roared, the dogs barked, and the rifles cracked through the crisp morning air. It wasn't just about revenge anymore. It was about protecting what was ours. When the last shot faded, the orchard returned to its eerie calm. For a moment, it looked like we had restored peace, but we knew better. This silence was deceptive. Wild boars were clever and ruthless survivors. Even as we rested, we knew more would return by nightfall. By midday, we ended the first hunt, gathered our game, and returned home to regroup. The afternoon took us to the nearby cornfields where the real challenge awaited. The stalks were tall and dense, making visibility nearly impossible. As soon as we released the hounds, their barks echoed across the field, signaling another encounter. My pulse quickened. Every step through the corn felt heavier, every sound sharper. Suddenly, movement ahead, a blur of black and brown muscle. I steadied my rifle, took a deep breath, and fired. The shot hit clean, and the boar fell instantly. The dogs raced in, barking triumphantly, but there was no time to rest. From deeper in the field came another roar. Pushing through the thick stalks, I caught sight of another boar charging straight at me. My heart pounded in my chest. I fired once, missed. The creature stumbled but kept coming. I fired again this time, it went down for good. My breath was heavy, my hands trembling, but the feeling of victory was pure. Hunting wild boars isn't just about sport, it's survival. As a farmer, I've learned that these creatures aren't simply pests. They're a force of nature. They reproduce fast, move in packs, and destroy everything in their path. If we didn't take action, our crops would be gone within weeks. So instead of complaining, we turned to hunting as a way to protect our land and control their growing numbers. Later that week, our team set out once more this time deeper into the forest where the boars had retreated. The ground was muddy and the air thick with tension. We crouched low, scanning every shadow. After minutes of silence, the scope caught sight of one a huge male. Unaware it had wandered into our line of fire. It was far, but I couldn't risk letting it escape. I steadied my aim, held my breath, and pulled the trigger. The echo of the shot rolled through the hills. The boar staggered, fell, and then scrambled to its feet again. I fired once more this time, it collapsed for good. The forest dogs barked wildly, alerting us that more were nearby. We moved forward carefully, rifles raised, hearts pounding. Then, from the thicket, another figure emerged. A single clean shot ended it instantly.
If you'll enjoy this video, please like and subscribe my channel for more information.